Hey, what's up? It's Crate Junkies. We're going to get through this stack hopefully pretty quick today. I'm just going to show you some records. Um, first, want to give a shout out to my good friend here on YouTube, um, Dave, someone 41. Uh, dude is really cool. Um, you know, he's been, he did, uh, been doing this, uh, garage, Cruising Dave's Garage thing lately. He did two of them, I think, so far. The latest one is a Speck and Doyle song called Music to My Ear. Um, really great track. We'll play it here in the background. I'm not sure how good you're going to be able to hear it, but, um, really good track. And, uh, I mean, I, um, I'm going to give you some links down here to his channel. I'm going to give you some links to his blog, his Rockabilly blog, and I'm going to give you a link to his, um, to this video, possibly, to this song. And, um, it's just a really good cover of this song. Um, great lyrics here. His voice... It's perfect on this. Um, really good. So, let's lay that in the background a little bit and um, get to Jesse Cundiff. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Cundiff. Cundiff. Um, guy I met on Facebook um, put up a record and I was interested in it on the Crate Junkies um, trading post, which I want to thank you know Dave, someone 41, um, Jesse and um, a lot of other people, Billy Creone and tons of other guys who've been posting on there. It's really nice that I could, I did something, you know, that's helping develop relationships, helping people trade things and sell things. It really means a lot that it's, it's going over well and people are enjoying it. So just keep on, you know, I'll put a link for that down here too. If you're not a part of that yet, go check it out. It's a, like a little trading post. Basically, if you have something you want to trade or something you're looking for, you post it on there. Hey, I'm looking for this record. Somebody will maybe help you out, maybe not. Put something that you're trying to sell or trade. Post it up there. It'll be there forever. Sooner or later, you're going to hit on it. So me and Jesse, I seen it. He had a record up that I was, you know, had been looking for a record from these guys for such a long time and just never see it. Um, so I, when I seen him pop up, I was like, dude, I need to have it. So we said, you know, how's this? You know, we'll make it like a six, five record limit. We'll just send each other five records each. And, um, you know, um, he sent me five records, and now I have to send him five records, which, Jesse, if you're watching this, I have not sent them out yet, and that's because the weather around here is freaking terrible. Um, I will be sending them out, hopefully, by Tuesday of this week, so you should be getting them by the end of this week. So I'm really sorry I haven't sent them out yet. In a way, it's good for you, though, because I actually switched up a couple things in there and gave you some better stuff. Because after I seen some of the things you sent me, I was like, damn, man, he really did some good. So, you know, I mean, either either way, what I was sending you was really good. But I gave you some extra, you know, some extra stuff. But anyway, this is the record I'm talking about. Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick, and Titch. Um, obviously, if you're familiar with um, Death Proof, they had that song in there. But um, just a great 60s, let's say, you know, psych pop um, garage type band. And um, just really good shit. I mean, fucking great, great music here. And uh, it's an original press, I believe, on IR, Liberty, or Imperial. So what a hell of a record, Jesse. You're the man for even just this. Is an, it was enough. And I was just super ecstatic. So like I said, I'm going to try to get through this quick. I'm already taking forever. I've already killed three minutes on one record. So um, next one was a Herbie Hancock record. This is an import um, from, I believe, the UK, A Night with Herbie really great record um need herbie so i'm happy that he sent this but the one herbie that he did sent me the next one here is one that i've been really looking for for a long time and it's weird because it's one of those records that you do kind of see a lot in shops and stuff but i just haven't bumped into it a lot so i was happy that he had it and he wanted to send it my way and that's herbie hancock's headhunters man really happy to add this to the collection i want to start getting some of herbie's older stuff which is kind of hard to find um, but this is a good start. You know, I actually already have, I think, one or two other Herbie records. But this is a good, this is, this is you know, from what I've heard about Herbie, this is one of his best. So, really happy to have this. Thanks so much, Jesse. You are the man. Um, you're not only the man for that stuff, but you're also the man for sending me crazy, off-the-wall stuff that I've never seen before. And this is on Buddha. I don't know what the hell this is, but I've never seen this before. I think it's called Kandera, um, the Moog Mass. Um, really looks freaking cool. It looks kind of psyche, possibly progish. Um, really, really cool looking record. I can't wait to spin this one. This one's on Karma Sutra. 
uh, Buddha Karma Sutra, the pink Karma Sutra label, which I'll just briefly show you guys that, you know, have obviously seen it like a million times. But what a hell of a freaking thing to just send as a, you know... And I mean, yeah, it's a little beat up on the front there, but I, you know, me personally, I don't give a shit about that, man. The music plays. That's all I give a shit about. Is the music playing? Oh, it's playing, baby. Um, so, yeah, happy as hell about that one, too. And then another one, some 70s type, um, what looks to be kind of psychedelic um, 70s rock stuff. This one's called Wadsworth Mansion. Wasn't Wadsworth the guy on Clue, the... the, the um, the um, butler on Clue, Wadsworth, Wadsworth Mansion, what, or was that, was Wadsworth Mansion the mansion, um, now I'm trying to think, was that uh, Dark, Dark, ah, uh, oh, no, I can't fucking think, the vampire movie, Dark, Dark, uh, Dark, Dark Shadows, Wadsworth Mansion, was that the mansion on Dark, I don't know, whatever. Now you're now I'm really getting thrown off. So Jesse, man, you sent me those fucking cool ass six. Re oh, and I almost forgot. He sent me one other record too. Now I don't know where the hell I put it. Ah, Agent Orange, Living in Darkness, one of my favorite punk records of all time. Um, I already have it, but it's awesome because now I can give this to somebody else. Or I can use my copy as much as I want and still have a backup. Whatever I want to do, because this is one of my favorite punk records. So one way or another, I'm going to definitely put it to use. Because it's definitely one of them. Side 2 on this record, okay? And if you don't know about this record, No Such Thing, A Cry for Help, In A World Gone Mad, Bloodstains, Living in Darkness. Listen to, listen to Side 2 of this record and just over and over and over again. It is, it is probably the best side in punk. I mean, one of the best sides in punk. In my opinion, I love it. I mean, it's sim simple, but it's so good. It's like that good simple that you just absolutely love. So, yeah. I mean, Jesse, awesome. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You're going to love your package. Also, two VHSs that I grew up with that I don't have anymore because my stepdad kept them when my mom and stepdad split way back in the day. Um, but... These were, these were two VHSs that I grew up with, that I had when I was very young, like five, six, seven years old. And that is The Grateful Dead, the movie, and Dead Ahead. So he had these, and he sent them along with. Wow. Awesome. Jesse, thank you. 100%, man. You are the man. Okay, moving on, because we want to try to make this a little bit shorter than most. Um... A reissue of a record that I was looking at, um, you know, going through Psych Records, uh, making my list. Um, I seen this record, and I was like, I need this record. After reading about it, I just had to have it. And wouldn't you know, I go into my shop, and there's a reissue there. And it's a really good re It's a nice reissue. Um, and it wasn't in my shop before. It must have just came in literally the day I was thinking about it. So it it's like fate. Pussy Plays, man. Um, the guy who drew this, a little piece of knowledge, he actually did stamps. The guy, there was one of their friends, and he did, like, stamps. And you can almost tell by the way it looks, in a way, that it's kind of like a person who would do, like, you know, what stamps used to look like back in the day. But, yeah, um, I don't know, a little piece of knowledge about it. But, yeah, Pussy Plays, just crazy killer psych. Um, it's on pink vinyl. I'll pop that out really quick. The, the, the jacket or the sleeve is like this material, and you can't really see it through the shrink because I'm keeping the shrink on, but, man, I wish you could see it. And I don't even know if, it, even if I took the shrink off, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's like this matted material, and it's really fucking cool, and it's, it's just a really nice job by, um, by the company who did this reissue here. Great job. If you see this, pick it up. Pussy. Pussy Plays. Limited edition, pink vinyl, 180 gram. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah. Digging that. Um, this is one I didn't get to listen to. 70s. Um, I think I think late 70s or, or early 70s, maybe late 60s. I doubt it was 60s. It looks, it looks 70s. It looks early 70s. And this is called um, Day Blindness. Um, Studio 10. Studio 10 Records. Um, have not got to listen to this yet. 
I'm going to put links down here to my Facebook, for Crate Junkies Facebook, and I'm going to put links to my Tumblr. Now, on my Tumblr and my Crate Junkies Facebook, I'm going to start doing kind of like a blogs um, on the records I'm listening to and rare psych and garage bands. So if you want to learn more about the records I'm showing in these videos, that's going to be the place to go. So I'm going to always put that link below my videos. I might even go back and put links in all of my past videos. So if you want to know more about this, I will be playing it sometime this week and it'll be up sometime this week. Okay. So there's that one. Oh. Okay, so I went out one day this week and went far out and went to some thrift shops, didn't find basically nothing. Um, popped into this shop that I go to every now and then. Um, guy mainly focuses on metal, but he has other stuff. So I was looking through his stuff and I finally found two records that I've been looking for forever, okay? These two records I've been looking for for such a long time and they're basically like grails. Um, this is the record that got me into jazz, that made me like jazz, um, and that's Dreams by Dreams. This fucking record is phenomenal. Now, it wasn't expensive, and I think it's a reissue, but whatever. I mean, the goddamn thing is beautiful, and I'm so happy to have it on vinyl. It was cheap, whatever. I have it on cassette. I cannot even stop playing the cassette. I love it so much. Um, definitely one of the records that kind of opened me up to jazz and made me kind of like okay with it. Because you know how you, you know, if you're not really familiar with jazz, you might have like, you know, you might have come to conclusions about jazz that aren't necessarily true. But once you get into jazz and you really start to, to listen to it, you'll realize that jazz is fucking amazing. But just on that regular Columbia Red um, label, in the shrink, mint condition, beautiful copy. I think I got this for under 10 bucks. It was like 5 bucks. So why not? Now, this one is a grail. This is a holy grail for me. I mean, literally a holy grail. Music-wise, it's not exp an expensive record. I mean, it goes for like 20 bucks if it's in great, great shape. You know, 10, 15, whatever, 8, whatever. Um, but it is a holy grail for me, man. The music on this album is probably some of my favorite blues rock music I've ever heard in my entire goddamn life. Hands down, I can listen to this record all the way through on both sides and love every minute of it. It is a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, all right? This is a 10. If you've never heard this record, you've got to hear this record. And that is Animals. Animalization. This goddamn thing is a fucking masterpiece. And I mean, yes, it's, it's a record that's not hard to find. It's not rare. It's not... But I just never could find it. Um, killer fucking record. Um, God damn, man. CC Riders on here. Gin House Blues. Maudie, which is like a John Lee Hooker track. Um, what I Am Living For. Sweet Little 16. Oh my God, I love that track. Oh my, the whole goddamn I Put a Spell on You. Um, don't Bring Me Down. One Monkey Don't Stop No Show. You're On My Mind. Cheating. She'll Return It. Um, Inside Looking Out. The whole album, guys, is a freaking killer, killer, killer record. I mean, the whole thing. If you like blues rock, back when the animals were doing blues music, this is the animals. This is my animals right here. I love this record. Um, you know, their later psych stuff is eh, whatever, but I mean, I really love the old animals. Um, next one, another kind of cool, little jazz influenced, a little rock and roll, little psych, a little bluesy, um, just a great record, period, point blank. Do some research on this. Um, if you want to know more about it, I did post on my Facebook a little bit about this record. You can go check that out. Um, this is The Eyes of the Beacon Street Union. Wow, just a killer record. This is another one I found that day, and I was happy because it really made my day that I found these three records, Dreams, Animalization, and this, because, you know, I wasn't finding nothing all day. Great, gorgeous, gatefold, wonderful, wonderful looking album, and a great sounding album, and really kind of like shows a lot of different styles of music on it, too. It's not, you know, it, it all it all feels so good. I mean, it really does. The whole album really, and I think side two on this one is just really good. I think side one's gr good as well, but I mean side two, it really opens up and and um, you'll definitely enjoy it. I, I, I implore you to go out and try to find this one. Um, very good record on MGM. Um, next one, I'm not gonna open this up. 
basically this is a reissue of Music Emporium's Music Emporium. This is another 60s psych rock band. Very, very hard record to find the original of. This is a Sunday's reissue. When you open Sunday's reissues up, and I guess I'll do it because God damn it, I have to. Um, when you open Sunday's reissues up, it, what's really cool about them is they have tons of information inside. So anything that you need to know about this band and this album is right there on the inside. And you can read it while you're listening to the album, which is just awesome. Oh, yeah. This is Fear Itself. Check this out. Woo. That guitar right there is why I listen to music. I have this record. Original Press. I dropped it the other day. And I nicked it. I fucking nicked my original pressing of Fear Itself. I wanted to shoot myself in the fucking head. I need it. I now I need to go spend seventy dollars on a mint condition copy of it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy a mint copy of it because that little nick, that little nick I put on this record, it only affects about twenty seconds of the record. But just knowing that I caused that nick is driving me insane. I was so stupid. I was sitting here doing something dumb, trying to rush around. And you know how you take a record off to flip it and kind of just flip it in your hands? Well, I did that and it just, and it fell and it hit the peg that stands up in your record player, the, you know, and just a little tiny nick, not nothing big, but it ticks now on that one spot. Oh my God! Pisses me off. This is such a good record, too, man. If you can ever find this record, Fear Itself. God, this is such a good record. I know I've showed it before, and if I can find it, I'll show it again. Man, this woman has such a good voice. She does a great rendition of The Letter. Oh, man. This record is so killer. Oh, man. Such a killer psych blues record. Woo! Guitar? I mean, oh, baby. But, uh, I mean, it's still in great condition. I mean, it's just a little nick, but, um, yeah. I mean, it dropped the value probably like 10 bucks, which sucks. Okay, next one, another cool psych classic. Red Dirt, man. Fucking, this is on red vinyl. Oh, here's another one. It's another one by Fear Itself. This is the letter. Thank you guys. I mean, really, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, man, thank you, VC, for doing this to me, man. Thank you for making me listen to some of this music, man, and, and getting me to the point where I can listen to stuff like this. I mean, because this is where it's at, man. Rockabilly, psych, blues, jazz. Oh my god, I mean, there's nothing better on the planet. 70s rock, that guitar, man, you just can't beat it. You can't beat it. This, you can't beat this either. Go get this. Killer. And it's hard to find the original. You're not going to find it. But get the reissue, why not? Okay, now this one, man, I don't want to open this again. I did this, this is my second time doing this video. Oh man, this is one I put on my um, on my want list or on my Facebook and kind of said I want this record. I put it on Cray Junkies, see if anybody would uh, have it, which no one had the original that wanted to get rid of it. But I've been passing up this reissue for like three weeks, maybe even a month or two, without knowing what it was because I thought it was. I'm, I'm, all right, so I'm, it's in the bin, and I'm passing it, and I see it. It's in this plastic, okay? You see this plastic? Can't see what it is. But you see how this is? Okay, so I'm passing it. Oh, just like slap myself. Anyway, I'm thinking it's a picture disc because I'm passing by it really fast, and I passed by it like 100 times because I don't like picture discs. I hate picture discs. 
So I didn't even pay attention to what it was. Now, the other day, I seen somebody show it in like an old video of some dude showing a site collection. And at the time he put the record up for us to see, he played a snippet of the music. And I was like, that's killer, I gotta have that. So, I automatically went to the Crate Junkies trading post and put it up and I made, you know, put it on my Facebook, put it everywhere. You know, nobody has it. Okay. Looked and tried to find original. Originals are pretty damn expensive and to find them in good shape, crazy. So then I go to the shop today and I'm like, that's that fucking record I'm looking for. It's the original, it's the, it's the reissue. Official Small face Faces Remaster Series. A re oh my god. God, and the thing is so good. They did such a good job with this fucking reissue. Dude, okay, I'm going to take the whole thing out. Okay, this is how it comes, okay? So you pull it out, okay? And then it's got the top thing, which is supposed to stay in this, the thing. Okay, so you take that off, and it's got information. What this is, and I'm going to just quickly show it. I can't, I can't take this out much more. I only took it out once now, and I gotta take it out again. So, it's got, it's a booklet. It's got all the information you goddamn well need about this band and this album. Okay, right here, everything. Boom! Okay, so there you go, information. Then on the back, there's this, which covers the back. Now this is basically showing the limited number right there written in ink showing what it is and that awesome and now you'll see that on the inside of the actual record and then the actual record here is so sweet so they put it in here where you just lift it up and right there's the record which is crazy so what I need to do is take this bad boy and put this in a really nice sleeve which I'm gonna do right after this recording but anyway, you open it up, and there it is. And then, the way it opens, and I'm not sure if the original opens like this or not. And I want to try to do this right, because I don't want... Okay. That's it. Right there. Isn't that cool? And then on the other side, it's... Okay. So, wow, right? Really awesome. And it's beautiful. So, that's that. And I'm going to take that and sit it over here. And I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to put that in a cool sleeve so I don't have to open that up ever again. Because I don't want to mess it up. Um, man. Okay, so then today, I go to this, like, fucking place that I go to called Ready Nerds. It's like an outside mall, or inside mall, dirt mall type thing with like really cool stands in it. And I find a couple cool records at this one stand. He had everything priced high as hell. But then when I went up to him, he dropped everything down to like nothing. I mean like, I paid nothing for this stuff. Just wait till you see. There's some really good stuff here. First one. Mint condition copy on uh, WIRL Records. This is old school, Calypso, reggae um, type stuff. This is called uh, the Sensational Keith Stewart Yellowbird. Um, I don't know much about this, but it looks fucking cool. Folky, Jamaican-esque, Calypso, reggae, early reggae stuff. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Um, so I got that, and that was like nothing. I mean, like, I paid nothing for it. It was... Mint condition. I just gotta, I just gotta clean it up. Great, great, great find. Very, very happy to find that. Next one, 19, I think 85, punk rock, which you don't find a lot of 80s punk original records that came over from, from um, United Kingdom from the UK. Well, this is one of them. This is, um, Depraved. Stupidity maketh the man. Now, you know, obviously, this is actually a picture of, uh, probably down south, you know. I'm not, you know, we're not gonna show this too much, because it's, it's very disturbing. But, um, yeah. And this is actually, the, this picture was on the front of a Public Enemy album as well, that I have, too. Um, but anyway, here's the record. 
and it's um, punk rock record Lee and Giggs, Ian Spencer, um, Depraved, Stupidity Maketh the Man, um, on this really cool vi uh, record label. It's got like a bed on this side, I don't know if you can see that, but really mint. And then it even has, you know, how most punk rockers, record rockers have the um, insert in great shape. This thing I got for like next to nothing. It's worth like 30, 40 bucks. Beautiful. I mean, you find this in a fucking, a, like a dart mall. And somebody's like, they have all these Beatles records priced really high. And the guy did not know what he had. He was actually happy I took this because he said people have been giving him grief for that. Anyway, I mean, I, I understand why, but don't they understand that it's not like he made that fucking record, you know? And it says, stupidity maketh the man. It's it's a, it's against that type of thing. Okay, I'm going to save this one for last, because this is the, the biggest score of the week. Um, not I'm not showing it to you right now. This is um, a blues psych record. Um, you know, not in the greatest of shape. It's even so bad that somebody like spray painted the back of it and it's it's value is is probably not a lot but it's one of those psych records that i've been wanting to get in my collection and the vinyl's in great shape so i'm not going to pass it no way it's on electra i mean you know you know what electra looks like but this is um satin chickens rhinosaurus um from what i've heard really great blues rock um psych stuff so i was really happy to get that it's not in the greatest of shape, but it's going right in my psych collection, man. No doubt about that. It's one of those kind of hard records to find. I mean, you don't really see it a lot. Next one was a Zappa record that I don't don't have. This is live in New York. Um, it's a little beat. The cover's got a little beatness to it, but I basically got this next to nothing. The vinyls are mint. The vinyl is mint. I can't believe I just said vinyls. I never say vinyls. I just was I was just hating on people the other day for saying vinyls and now here I am saying vinyls. Okay, so yeah, they're in they're in mint condition. Obviously, um, this is on that uh that discreet label that you see a lot of uh, Zappa stuff around this time coming out on. Um, so was happy to have that. Nice straight spine on it, so that's nice. Um, you know, and Zappa's the man, so I picked that up. Next one, okay, last, the last one I got at the mall today, okay, so this guy had no idea, no idea, no freaking clue what he had, and I, I didn't even know really, then I come home and I search it up and I listen to a sound clip of it. And I looked it up on Discogs, and I was like, wow, I just paid $5 for this record. It's in mint condition, and it's so cool, because I've been looking for, like, original Garage 60 stuff. I think it's from, like, 68 or something. Ooh, look at this. The Ombres, let it out. Let it all hang out. The Ombres, original, on fucking Verve Fordcast, dude. Mint, mint all fucking around. Beautiful. The vinyl is fucking spectacular, and the music is fucking killer, man. Really, dude, really good. You wouldn't really expect it, because it looks like, you know, like Mexican stuff, but, like, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, you know, garage rock. I mean, I've heard some Mexican garage, actually, that's fucking good, but these dudes are white guys dressed as Mexicans, so you're kind of like, what the fuck? But I looked at it, and I was like, you know, that really looks like an old-school garage band. I gotta grab that. I seen a copy of this go for like 150 bucks. I seen one for 70. I seen a couple for 30 and 40. But like, this is a, a, you know one of the you know good garage records to find, man. I got it for cheap, cheapy, cheap, 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 man. At a fucking man, the guy had no idea what he had, just no idea at all. And it's on this Verve forecast, which I'll show you, which you already seen a million times. But it's in great condition, man. No scratches at all. Nothing. I mean, straight fucking dead mint, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, it's in, to, make, to make everything even better, I'm looking around and I find an original Electric Frankenstein 45 on green vinyl that he gave and thro threw in with everything. Found that. You know. Uh, I'll show you the back of this because it's actually kind of cool. 
and that is um, that has got it's all moving faster and the coolest little monster on it. So that was cool. Um, now I'm just going to show you some stuff I got from Goodwill over the over the week. Sergio Mendez, um, full on the hill. Now I see Sergio stuff all the time, but this is in really good shape, so I grabbed it. I usually don't grab his stuff, but I want to get his collection together. But I want to get everything mint, so you know, obviously see the stuff at Goodwill's all the time. But this was really nice shape, so I grabbed it, and that's why I grabbed it. Crocus. Play it in metal, or pay it in metal. Really nice shape on the vinyl. Um, the jacket, I just need to clean up a little bit. It's a little dusty, but got that too. Joan Baez, Diamonds and Rust, mint condition. I don't really know much about Joan or her music, but, you know, I see it a lot, so I figured why not just grab it and see what it's about. This is like an 80s record. Um, Chris did Bor Borsch, um, Man on the Line grab that next one was a mint condition copy of the magic of Hawaii I mean this is super dead mint I mean the thing is still in a shrink it's on that palace records you know I don't know I picked it up because it's so nice I mean it's really in great shape next one songs by Ricky Ricky Nelson there was another Ricky Nelson album there that I didn't pick up and I should have but the other one was really scratched up, so, I mean, this one wasn't, so I grabbed it. Really nice copy of that. Um, this one I don't know much about, Brownsville Station School Punks. Kind of looks, these guys look douchey, but I don't know. I just picked it up because it might as well. What I think it is, I think it's honestly like disco or something. I don't know. May, I, let's hope it's not, but it looks like it could be. Um, another Joan Baez pick this one up because it's beautiful it's in great shape um this is um blessed that blessed something blessed me blessed r a double lp mint 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 vinyl next one this is some johnny cash stuff um really 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 uh mint on this one too and that's another reason why i kind of picked it up double LP and it's just got all the hits you know what I mean and I'm not going to pass it up because you know you'll, you'll meet a, a Johnny fan and then you'll say hey I got this record you can have it you know I'll give it to somebody or something that's into Johnny I mean I'm into Johnny too but I have a lot of the stuff I want from Johnny um, this was one I don't know much about but I grabbed it just because it looked interesting um, could be folky could be country folk rock Gladstone um from Down Home in Tyler or Taylor, Texas. Opens like that. Looks folky. Um, it really does, but I'm not sure. Record goes in there. This is on ABC. Don't know much about that at all. It's on ABC Records. Really good shape, though. Um, don't usually pick up Chuck Mangone or Chuck, Chuck Mangione, um, but I don't see this one a lot. It's in great shape, so I picked it up. Uh, chase the clouds away. See, I see his stuff so much that it's like I wait until I find really nice copies to pick up his stuff. I see Chuck Mangione a lot. Um, this this one was probably really good. Now, I'm not sure if it's an actual original album by these guys or if it's like a compilation. I'm hoping it's an original album by them and not a compilation. I haven't done any research on it yet. But it's Little Anthony and the Imperials on this um, Veep label, which I'm not familiar with. And it's called um, Going Out of My Head. Now, I think that looks like it could be an original, but it's it's mint, dude. I mean, the thing is beautiful. I mean, dead fucking mint. So, I mean, for a buck, I'm not going to pass that up. Um, beautiful. I just got to clean it and sleeve it. It's really good shape. And then, last but not least, kind of something just to satisfy my my taste. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh yeah, beautiful. I mean, beautiful copy too. On um this uh Corel. I hate. I mean, I like these because I think it's cool. Like, I just I don't know. It, it's just I don't know. It's something about this that I like, but like I don't like it either. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's, that's what I got, man. Um, and I have to say, I know I showed this last week. 
But this little bit of Soul, Soul Explosion album, is fucking killer. Now, I know a lot of the songs they do on here are like covers, but this first track, Little Bit of Soul, is really killer. I mean, if you guys, if you've never heard this record, you've got to get this shit and listen to it. Um, or go type in Little Bit of Soul, Soul Explosion, or music, the music explosion, Little Bit of Soul, and listen to just that track. Really good, you know, good poppy rock track man just this is a really good tr a fucking record i've been listening to this a lot lately um very very good i know i know um memphis vinyl gym would love to have that i don't know if he has it or not but if you don't have it memphis you gotta get it because it is a great record um so yeah that's about it man check out dave's stuff down here check out his song um well it's you know speck and doyle's song but it, he covered it it's a really good cover so check that out check out his blog check out my blog on tumblr and check out you know whatever the hell is down there in the in the, in the box um i've been crate junkies hope you guys have enjoyed we've been listening to just a bunch of stuff we're listening to july now before this it was july then it was felt fear itself damnation um blue cheer was on here i don't know if you heard anything in the background i mean i'm just trying to name off some of the stuff that it played um yeah so that's what we've been listening to later on guys see you guys next week around the same time same place keep on digging port um from i believe the uk a night with herbie really great record um need herbie so i'm happy that he sent this but the one Herbie that he did send me, the next one here, is one that I've been really looking for for a long time. And it's weird because it's one of those records that you do kind of see a lot in shops and stuff. But I just haven't bumped into it a lot. So I was happy that he had it and he wanted to send it my way. And that's Herbie Hancock's Headhunters, man. Really happy to add this to the collection. I want to start getting some of Herbie's older stuff, which is kind of hard to find. Um, but this is a good start. You know, I actually already have, I think, one or two other Herbie records, but... This is a good, this is, this is, you know, from what I've heard about Herbie, this is one of his best. So, really happy to have this. Thanks so much, Jesse. You are the man. Um, you're not only the man for that stuff, but you're also the man for sending me crazy, off-the-wall stuff that I've never seen before. And this is on Buddha. I don't know what the hell this is, but I've never seen this before. I think it's called Kandera, um, the Moog Mass. Um, really looks freaking cool. It looks kind of psyche, possibly proggish. Um, really, really cool looking record. Can't wait to spin this one. This one's on Karma Sutra, uh, Buddha Karma Sutra, the pink Karma Sutra label, which I'll just briefly show you guys that, you know, have obviously, um, he sent me five records and now I have to send him five records, which Jesse, if you're watching this, I have not sent them out yet. And that's because the weather around here is freaking terrible. Um, I will be sending them out hopefully by Tuesday of this week. So you should be getting them by the end of this week. So I'm really sorry I haven't sent them out yet. In a way, it's good for you, though, because I actually switched up a couple things in there and gave you some better stuff. Because after I seen some of the things you sent me, I was like, damn, man, he really did some good. So, you know, I mean, either either way, what I was sending you was really good. But I gave you some extra, you know, some extra stuff. But anyway, this is the record I'm talking about. Dave D., Dozy, Beaky, Mick, and Titch. Um, obviously, if you're familiar with um, Death Proof, they had that song in there but um just a great 60s let's say you know psych pop um garage type band and um just really good shit i mean fucking great great music here and uh it's an original press i believe on ir liberty or imperial so what a hell of a record jesse you're the man for even just this isn't it was enough and i was just super ecstatic so like i said i'm gonna try to get through this quick I'm already taken forever. I've already killed three minutes on one record. So, um, next one was a Herbie Hancock record. This is an imp. Hey, what's up? It's Crate Junkies. We're gonna get through this stack, hopefully, pretty quick today. I'm um, just gonna show you some records. Um, first, want to give a shout out to my good friend here on YouTube, um, Dave. Someone forty one. Uh, dude is really cool. Um, you know, he's been, he did, uh, been doing this, uh, garage, Cruising Dave's Garage thing lately. He did two of them, I think, so far. The latest one is a Speck and Doyle song called Music to My Ear. Um, really great track. We'll play it here in the background. I'm not sure how good you're going to be able to hear it. But, um, really good track. And, uh, I mean, I, 
Um, I'm going to give you some links down here to his channel. I'm going to give you some links to his blog, his Rockabilly blog, and I'm going to give you a link to his um, to this video, possibly, to this song. And um, it's just a really good cover of this song. Um, great lyrics here. His voice is perfect on this. Um, really good. So, let's lay that in the background a little bit and um, get to You've seen it like a million times but what a hell of a freaking thing to just send as a you know and I mean yeah it's a little beat up on the front there but I you know me personally I don't give a shit about that man the music plays that's all I give a shit about is the music playing oh it's playing baby um, so yeah happy as hell about that one too and then another one some 70s type um, what looks to be kind of psychedelic um, 70s rock stuff this one's called Wadsworth Mansion. Wasn't Wadsworth the guy on Clue, the 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 um, the um, butler on Clue? Wadsworth, Wadsworth Mansion. What or was that? Was Wadsworth Mansion the mansion? Um, now I'm trying to think. Was that a uh, dark? Dark. Uh, Ah oh, no, I can't fucking think. The vampire movie, Dark, Dark, uh, Dark, Dark Shadows. Wadsworth Mansion was that the mansion on Dark? I don't know. Whatever. Now you're now I'm really getting thrown off. So Jesse, man, you sent me those fucking cool ass six. Re oh, and I almost forgot. He sent me one other record too. Now I don't know where the hell I put it. Ah, to Jesse Cundiff. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Kundif, Kundif. Um, guy I met on Facebook, um, put up a record, and I was interested in it on the Crate Junkies, um, trading post, which I want to thank, you know, Dave, someone 41, um, Jesse, and, um, a lot of other people, Billy Creone, and tons of other guys who've been posting on there. It's really nice that I could, I did something, you know, that's helping develop relationships, Helping people trade things and sell things. It really means a lot that it's, it's going over well and people are enjoying it. So just keep on, you know, I'll put a link for that down here too. If you're not a part of that yet, go check it out. It's a, like a little trading post. Basically, if you have something you want to trade or something you're looking for, you post it on there. Hey, I'm looking for this record. Somebody will maybe help you out, maybe not. Put something that you're trying to sell or trade. Post it up there. It'll be there forever. Sooner or later, you're going to hit on it. So me and Jesse, I seen it. He had a record up that I was, you know, had been looking for a record from these guys for such a long time, and just never see it. Um, so I, when I see him pop up, I was like, dude, I need to have it. So we said, you know, how's this? You know, we'll make it like a six, five record limit. We'll just send each other five records each, and um, you know, 